Hi, I'm Stephanie McNally. I am a keeper in the draft department here at the Little Zoo and I take care of the meerkats. We have five meerkats. We have two females and three males. Penny, she is our dominant female. She doesn't have any markings. You can distinguish her because she is a little lighter in color. Bazinga, she is her daughter. She is very light. She's a blondish color. You can tell her apart because she has a marking on her left shoulder. Her brother, Will, he has a marking on his right shoulder. Barry, he has a marking on the base of his tail. And Sheldon, you can tell him apart pretty easily because he has a short stubby tail. The reason his tail is short is because he has a condition called spondylosis, which affects his spine and causes him to have that wobbly gait. And his tail was starting to drag across the ground, which was causing it to get a little raw underneath. And it was just having a hard time healing. We didn't want it to get really infected. And that is why we had to amputate the base of it. And that is why his tail is short. He is under medical care and we do keep a close eye on it. Meerkat's natural African habitat is the Kalahari Desert, which is found in Southern Africa. Here at the zoo, their exhibit, we have a indoor space and an outdoor space. Their exhibit here, they like to dig all day long because that is one of their natural behaviors. So when you come by, that is probably what you're gonna be seeing them do. They have these long nails, which pretty much act like shovels. They have this nice heated rock over here so that when they do get a little chilly in the cooler months, you will also see them just piled on top of each other, just trying to get warm. You will also see them laying on their backs, warming their bellies in the sun to try to get them, themselves warm. This termite mound, as you can see, he is sitting on top of here. What he is doing is acting like the sentinel. And what that role is, is they watch out for predators or anything they might perceive as being a threat to the rest of the mob. And one of their natural predators in Africa would be like a bird of prey, a jackal, something along those lines. If they sense something that would be a danger or a threat to the rest of the mob, they'll let out a barking call. That is just an alarm call. And they'll run together as a group. They might run into their indoor space and they just protect each other. They also uh, provide other type of jobs, quote unquote jobs, within the mob. You have some that are hunters, you have some that are babysitters that will take care of the young while the other ones are out, you know, gathering food, stuff like that. Meerkats are omnivores, so they have a very diverse diet. They eat invertebrates. They also eat fruits and vegetables. Here at the zoo, we feed them crickets, mealworms. They eat um, apples, pears, sweet potatoes, carrots. Once a week, we give them fuzzies, which are baby mice. We also give them a pelleted grain that is called omnivore diet. In Africa, they will eat small insects. They eat grubs. They'll get tubers. They will also eat scorpions. When they catch scorpions, they'll hurry up and rip off the stinger. They have built up a tolerance to venom so that it will make them pretty sick, but typically they do recover. So come watch Penny, Bazinga, Will Wheaton, Barry, and Sheldon at louisvillezoo.org slash live. Thanks for watching.